Hello, and welcome to On Stage at the BACP. Today, we're going to be showing you a video from our short play festival. These were original plays uh, written by Oklahoma playwrights. Each of them is about 10 minutes long. And today's feature is Backstage Drama, which was written by Rick Allen Lippert and directed by Jeffrey Jimenez. It features in the cast Mallory Berry, Julie Green Cully, Garrett Re Reed, I'm sorry, Garrett, <laughs> Garrett Reed, and Marla Taylor. We hope you enjoy. And yes, that's me, Marla Taylor. Oh, trust me, Jordan. Mother, why don't you go find your seat? You're making me nervous. No, no, it's really best that your grandmother miss opening night. I say this from the voice of experience. You really don't want her here. I was in the exact position you were. First leading role, opening night, and she couldn't make it. Only in my case, she did make it. At the last minute, with huge fanfare, only to eviscerate the director, shatter my self-confidence while stealing the limelight. You don't want to experience that. It's different with Mamie and me. <laughs> you say that. You haven't seen her in her element. Uh, Two minutes to places, Jordan. Thank you, Mr. Peacock. Oh, goodness. Does he not have a stage manager to call the show? He did, but he fired her last night during final dress. Oh, my. Yeah, he was screaming at her like he couldn't stand for insubordination or whatever. What'd she say? She posted something about us to iced coffee being too cold. Oh, my. Oh, there you are, darling. Oh. I told that nervous young man I had a right to be backstage. I knew you'd make it, Mamie. <laughs> oh, right on cue, Mother. You always did have impeccable timing. <laughs> yeah, and complete with a feather boa. Yes, wonderful to see you as always, Eleonora. It's Ellie. How oh, must you continue to torture me with your rejection of your namesake? a 19th century Italian actress. And nobody in America says her name the way she did. It's been nothing but a nightmare since day one. <clears throat> Jordan, dear, tell me about your play. It's an adaptation of Disney's 101 Dalmatians. Disney, ugh, they've ruined the theater. How can you say that, Mamie? I love their shows, and I have souvenirs from all of them. Exactly. It's all about the merchandise. That's not theater. How many other Broadway shows have you seen? Well, I guess just the ones that you've been in. Oh, dreadful supporting roles in minor plays. Jordan, dear, before you were born, I owned Broadway. <laughs> Eleonora, I assume you feed her nothing but sugary cereal for breakfast. It's Ellie. I've had enough drama to last a lifetime. Oh, must you always hold my legacy against me? I don't even know what that one means. Even when you were a teenager, you resented having a famous mother. I resented having an absent mother, mother. How dare you? I never missed any of your school performances. No, but what about field hockey and science fairs. Oh, not those again. They weren't theater. No, they weren't. But that's why I never miss anything that my Jordan is in. So, your mother of the year. Let's find you a trophy. Uh, oh, but if the child is going to have a career in theater, she needs to- I am not a child. A career in theater? Let's not get all upset right before the show starts. Um, Jordan, tell me about your part. Ooh, fly, Mr. Places, Jordan. Thank you, Mr. Peacock. Uh, Mr. Peacock, excuse me, pardon me, Mr. Peacock. Um, aren't you the director? 
Yes, I am. I also head the theater department here at Edgemere Academy. We are Oklahoma's most... I wasn't most aware pers- that Disney had adapted 101 Dalmatians for the stage. Oh, they didn't. I did. It's my original adaptation. Hmm. How does that work? Do you have the rights? Oh, no. Of course not. That would be way too expensive. So, what are you doing for a script? I'm using my own. Well, how? I transcribed the movie, changed some dialogue, dropped some characters, made the puppets. Puppets? Oh, you can't do that. But I did. It was hard work, but I did it. And they're not sock puppets or anything like that. Just imagine how many students I'd need for all those puppies. I don't even want to begin. Right, so I designed handheld boards with 10 puppy puppets each, and a student handles two boards, some even bobbled, so Oh, it's... young man, what was your name again? Peacock. Daniel XL Peacock, ma'am. You're kidding, right? It's my brand. I excel in everything I do, and that's my challenge to my students. Jordan, dear? Don't listen to a word that man says. He's an idiot! Maybe, um, um, see. I beg your pardon. Uh, Oh, uh, don't mind, Mother. She's just playing her role. Have you ever done any theater? Any plays? Most of my work has been in front of the camera. I spent two years in Hollywood and even got a call back for a sitcom pilot. Television. Sitcom pilot. Oh, that is not acting. Have you done any theater? A little in high school. Oh, no leading roles, I'm presuming. Uh, I guess, what, uh, spear carrier? How did you know? Oh, Oh, my goodness, you give me gas. Jordan, sweetheart, I hate to let you down, but I cannot stay and watch this abomination. Please don't go, baby. Her mother. Here, let me help you out the door. I'm sorry, dear, but... It's just too painful. Oh, no. What is it? Mrs. Evans, the English teacher, got food poisoning at dinner. Now I don't have a crew at the bill. That's your cue, mother. (laughs) Oh, no. Don't look at me. There is not enough money in the world. Please, baby, you can do it. Who, what, do what? My baby can play the part, just give her a script. Oh, I don't think so. Uh, What did you say? Oh, you better back up if you hope to keep your eyes. Do you have any experience? Oh, Oh, bless your heart, yes. Do you have any experience? Do I have any experience? Do I have any experience? (gasps) I take it from your reaction that you do. Ever hear of a little show like uh, Streetcar or Virginia Woolf? Are we playing Jeopardy now? I'll take all the movies for 200. Oh, you really don't know what you're doing, do you? Young man, I'd like a word with you. Out in the hall. Don't hurt him, Amy. At least until after the show. I'll have you know, Mr. Peacock, I had two Tonys before you were even out of diapers. Okay, experience check. Uh, here's your script. I think there's an extra copy in here. Now I'll need to write down your name so I can announce the cast change. So, what's your name? I am Broadway star Elizabeth Jeffries. <clears throat> write it down. All of it. Broadway, right. Oh, I'm afraid she's not kidding, Mr. Peacock. You may not know who she is, or was, but guaranteed the grandparents in the audience definitely will. Jordan, I'm surprised you haven't told your teacher about your heritage. I wanted to get the part on my own. That's what you should always do, but it doesn't hurt to let people know you're connected. Uh Uh-oh, we gotta hurry. Jordan places now. Uh, What about me? Should I be in wardrobe and makeup? No, you're perfect as you are. (laughs) I love the bowl. Mm. She's even more perfect than Mrs. Evans. And we have an outrageous costume for her. Uh, Gotta hand it to you. Mother 
Heather, you certainly have your touch still. Yes, Eleonora, I certainly do. <laughs> Pardon me, Jordan, would you mind scooting over? I must touch up my makeup. Wow, this is awesome. My stage debut right alongside my grandmother. This will be a memory I'll keep for my entire life. Yes, I'm afraid you'll never forget it. All right, ladies, it's curtain time. I'll show those kids what performing is all about. Jordan, dear, I may have book in hand, but try to keep up with this old broad, and uh, I'll make sure that you don't upstage me. I'm sure you'll do just fine. <laughs> Mommy, do I still have to go out there? Thank <laughs> you.